Something is roaming the woods at night. And it is not a werewolf. So what can it be? And what does that mean for the rural community that is haunted by that creature? Well, about the what? The title of a movie, Ogre, already gives something away. But what else that means for the community of this rural town, you can find out if you join me for this short review video. To get away from her apparently abusive husband, Chloe and her son Jules are moving to a small town in a rural area of France. While Chloe is embraced with open arms because she is a school teacher and the village really is in need of one, her son has a tougher start because the local youth doesn't like new kids, especially if they are related to their teacher. But of course the main focus of this movie is the fact that in the woods something is roaming around at night. And that something is apparently the reason why one of the town's kids recently has vanished without a trace. And the same reason why livestock is getting killed left and right. And for that reason some parents are not that happy with Chloe because she was leading an expedition into the forest to teach the kids about plants and nature. Apparently not realizing that there is a real danger out there. Or maybe Chloe is just not buying into this even though she felt a feeling of foreboding herself when she was standing in front of the house a few days earlier. Because she also doesn't believe Jules when he tells her that at night a creature is haunting him. At first standing in front of his window and then coming into the room even sniffing him, yet for some reason never touching him. After the community was hunting down a wolf and killing it, they seem to be convinced that the danger is now over and having a big celebration. But of course we know that the danger is far from over. And Jules recently has learned that he apparently has the ability of manipulating and commanding birds. Something that along the line might come in quite handy. This movie is really hard to categorize. Not like the movie Year of a Shark that was also shown this year that was switching lanes a lot between different genres and not succeeding there. Here some genres are just mixed together, which are mainly drama, fantasy and horror. Which under ideal circumstances can make for a really great movie. But here it did not work that well, at least not for me. And to get it out of the way, it is not an issue of acting or cinematic aspects. The movie was well acted and also the cinematography was good. So nothing here is at fault. The issue is more that this movie never really decides which audience it is playing to. For a kids fantasy movie, the movie is way too dark. Because the creature that for some reason was even shown in the trailer already, which is spoiling quite a lot, but well that is also true with the title, is presented way too scary for kids to not create nightmares. So definitely not a kids movie. For a horror movie it is way too slow and there is just not enough horror and thrill in it. Though the movie did actually quite a good job in creating a creepy atmosphere. But it never really capitalized on that. For a horror movie there is just too little going on here. Which would also be true if it would have been a kids movie. Because kids would have been likely just bored by those parts. So this pretty much only leaves the drama angle. And on this level it works better than a horror or a fantasy movie. But still isn't really convincing. Because to really work as a drama there is now way too much horror and fantasy in it. To the point that at one moment close to the end you're not even really clear anymore if everything that you see is actually happening or if it's just meant to be an allegory. If that is true then you have a lot to interpret into the movie and it then pretty likely is meant to be a metaphor for child abuse and how kids deal with it. But if that is the case it also didn't do a great job to really bring that to the forefront. And honestly I don't even think that this was actually the intention. However, what this movie actually managed to bring to the forefront is the feeling that apparently all kids in rural areas are assholes. Because in one scene the kids were daring Jules to go into the woods alone at night. And as there was no adult around to stop him, I am not surprised that there was a kid going lost in the woods before. And this wasn't even the first time Jules himself was being lost there. Because his mother was really doing a top notch job at parenting. So to recap, not working as a horror movie, too scary for a kids fantasy movie and also not really convincing as a drama. 
So what audience was this movie aiming for? I don't know, it wasn't me and apparently also not the rest of the movie audience. Because from many of the festival goers I heard that this is their dud so far this year. So if you think this movie might be for you then give it a try but don't say you haven't been warned that this is a very unbalanced one. With that being said, let's get to the rating, but before we do so, let me ask you to like and share this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you are no subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. Now for the rating. To get this out of the way, it is not so bad that I would say it is garbage or weak. It's not a waste of time, you know, but it for sure can be skipped because it is just a so-so flick. It is one of those movies that never really manages to grab your attention and therefore I really had to fight to not drift off and let my mind wander. It is one of those movies where you will look at your watch more than once. But keeping all its technical merits and the acting in mind and considering that it was overall better than Year of a Shark that I have also reviewed a few days ago and scored with 3 out of 10 points, I will give this one 3.5. Because some people might say it is an okay movie and it is fine to watch once, while others might say it can be skipped. So between 3 and 4 points seems to be fair. Especially since this movie at least had a direction, even though it did not work out. What about you? Have you ever seen a movie that actually managed to do it in a solid way to walk the balance and thin line between horror, fantasy and drama? Or is that something that in general is just setting the filmmaker up for failure? Let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.